Hi there, Chad here for Chibi AI. In, in a previous video, I tested if we could get GPT-40 Mini to be able to do a reasoning step similar to what we think maybe that OpenAI's new O1 models are doing in the background, right? So in, in this video, I'm gonna experiment and see if I can get Llama 3.18B to be able to do something similar. Now, straight up, this has been far more challenging than getting GPT-40 Mini to do it. Uh, obviously, Llama 3.18 billion parameter model is like a super teeny tiny model that is, you know, that can run on your phone or something even. It's like, it, it's is definitely not intended to be as capable as something like 40 Mini or something like that. But it was an interesting challenge. And we have some some interesting results and I modified the experiment just a little bit to introduce a little bit more thinking to it, some more reasoning maybe if you want to call it that. And I think we've got some interesting results. I wouldn't say that I got this to be reliable though. And I suspect that if I bump up to a little bit more capable, maybe 70 billion parameter model or something like that, it would be more uh, reliable. But let's just showcase what we got doing uh, going on here in the setup. So over here, we got the prompt. Essentially, this is just going to be the question. How many R's are in the word strawberry? I have both of these here, raspberry and strawberry, so that it just makes it easier for me to run the experiment. I, I delete one when I run it, and you'll, you'll see that in just a moment. Next, we have our reasoning step. And basically, it's telling the, the model to take its time to think through things and to create a process. It's not intended to create the answer yet in this step, although sometimes llama, the this tiny llama model sometimes doesn't realize what the instruction is and does try to provide the answer here. But it's just intended to give us the process, the steps needed to get the answer that we're looking for, or at least not necessarily that we're looking for, but we're trying to get the correct answer no matter what the question is. It's not intended purely to answer the strawberry question, right? So moving on after the reasoning, the reasoning gets sent to the next step. The next step here is to come up with the result, come up with the answer. And it's intended to use the process that was created here in this step through the reasoning step. And essentially what we do is we pass in the prompt, which is our original thing of the question. And then we give it the reasoning process. And we just kind of have some instructions around that to try to get the model to actually follow those instructions to come up with the final result. And what I added in this one compared to the last test is a review and refine step. So this is also something that we kind of suspect that the OpenAI O1 models are doing because sometimes you'll see it thinking for a long time, right? The, they'll, they'll take 15, 20, 30, 40 seconds to, to run on some types of questions. And it might be because it's recursively meta prompting itself to try to figure to, to it's, it's coming up with the wrong answer, so to speak, maybe in the background several times. And it's going through many chains of thought in order to come up with the correct one. So it that's of course a theory. Uh, OpenAI doesn't share what's really going on uh, necessarily. It has some that you can kind of see, but it's you don't actually get to see the real token. So we don't know truly what's going on in the background. It is a little bit of a black box, but that's that's okay. Those OpenAI O1 models are really cool if you need reasoning in your, in your prompts. So definitely take advantage of it for that. So, okay, we've got this set up. Uh, I will just show you real quick. We'll go through the the, the settings here, and we've got Llama 3.18b as the in the reasoning step. Essentially, we're telling it you're not writing to the user. Come up with the plan. This is just a bunch of stuff to in enforce that. And real quick, I'll show you the AI controls. Zero. We're just making sure that it's following everything precisely. We don't have any sort of creativity leaking into it. And then in the result step. Same thing, Llama AB. Our instructions are essentially to get it to follow those instructions, the reasoning that, that come from this reasoning step. We just want to make sure that it does that. In fact, given that this is an 8 billion parameter model, one of the things I would probably do to try, if I were to continue trying to refine this experiment, would be to probably simplify this in some ways. I suspect that, you know, it might be a little bit of overload for a model with only 8 billion parameters. Again, temperature zero, we just wanna make sure that there's uh, no creativity leaking in. Review and refine. So after it comes up with the answer, we want it to take its time and actually double check that answer. And we're gonna give it the original prompt again. We're gonna give it the same reasoning process that it's supposed to use. 
that it was supposed to use here even. And we're going to give it the answer that it came up with and then tell it to, you know, review and refine and cross check those answers and everything and come up with the refined answer. So in theory, if the result step does make a mistake, then this step could should hopefully capture that and fix it. Although I think we'll find that it doesn't always or probably doesn't mostly. So let's go here, go to instructions and it's just same thing. We're just trying to make sure that it's only reviewing the answer. We'll go into the controls it's again, set to zero. We want everything to be uh, without any creativity in it, right? Okay, so we've got it all set up and now it's time to see if it can answer how many R's are in the word strawberry. So I'm just going to clear this one out. We'll let it run. What we'll get is the process first, right? We're going through the reasoning step, so to speak. After it does that, we're gonna get the answer and then it's gonna go through review and refine. So it's all happening below the fold right now. Okay, so it's done. So its process is to begin by writing down the word, then it's gonna locate the first occurrence, identify positions, okay? Determine the total length, count the number of occurrences, continue counting, okay, moving from left to right. Once all have been counted, add up the total number of occurrences to determine the final answer. Okay, so there we go. So, okay, we're gonna go down. It's, it should kind of be a little verbose. Okay, here we go, we're right down. Let's see, fifth character, 10, yeah, okay. Are we going to get, there are three occurrences. Uh-oh, it looks like it might have gotten the right answer right off the bat. The final answer is three. So that's pretty cool. It successfully was able to answer the uh, number of R's. Let's see if, if it refined and made a mistake in the refining process. So it's supposed to cross check, doing all those checks and tests and refined answer to determine. We're gonna keep going. The final answer is four. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. I haven't seen it actually go to four before during this ex these experiments. I think I've, I've seen it mostly do two. <laughs> it's funny how normally what I experience is up here in the final answer, it'll be two. And then it'll, it'll come down and it'll say, yes, two is the correct answer. I haven't seen it be correct and then trick itself. Um, I suspect that's probably part of the prompt. If we look into here, I, I have in here, it could be wrong if it is not correct. And if I go into these settings, I say, assume the answer is wrong. I suspect that could be it. Let's take this part out. <laughs> that was a late addition to the uh, the check. But again, this is a very tiny model. It's very difficult to get it to do a real in you know in depth reasoning thing. But the point of this experiment is not to see can we be on par with something like O1, you know the the OpenAI O1 model. I mean that's just not even a fair comparison, right? This. This tiny model costs a fraction, like a, just a teeny tiny fraction of what it costs to run the uh, OpenAI-01 models. Like, I think it's like 15 cents for a million tokens or something versus like $60 for, for OpenAI's. So yeah, it's a, it's a massive difference. It's also super fast. You can actually see them, the, the answers stream in. So I think the point of the experiment is it's not to say that we can do the same thing. It's more around, can we get it to do better like it's it's a can we get it to punch above its weight class so to speak and i think doing things like this obviously makes it do better right i mean we're in a situation where we're using these teeny tiny models that are not intended to do crazy reasoning and stuff like this but if we can get it to do better then i think that that's a big win okay so it's got the process i'll skip the process for now we'll go down we got a little bit of formatting weirdness that's okay we can fix that all right, all right. So it says two. See, I said uh, kind of consistently says two, and this one thinks the answer is still two. So failure there again. All right. So what I want to do, I just want to change this up here a little bit. I don't want to see all the reasoning stuff anymore. So let's go ahead and we'll change this to a run prompt. This is just a chibi thing that just makes it so that instead of writing all the reasoning out into the document, it it just uh, passes it to the next step. So that's just something a little cleaner. Uh, I'm gonna do the same thing for the result. And what I wanna see if we can get it to do is if we can get just the final answer to be 
the correct answer. So it, I think it will be verbose anyways here. So we'll be able to see what steps and stuff it was running. So here we go again. Let's run the strawberry test. So far we're, 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 we're batting zero, right? it's not really been successful. Although the first time it was initially correct, but then it corrected itself to be wrong. <laughs> so, you know, that's how it is. Uh, right now it says, it sh you can see that Chibi's working and it's because in the background, these two steps don't write to the document anymore. And here we go back to two R's. Yeah. So I think what we're going to, what we're finding is that it's not that reliable. Let's try raspberry and let's just see what happens with raspberry. I usually get very similar results, but, um, also we got to be careful because what we're working with is a system that might be caching the prompts and stuff. So we might be getting the same answer back and let's see what we got here. Do we get to a final answer? It sure is writing an awful lot just to answer raspberry. All right, let's undo that. <laughs> Such is uh, what I expected to kind of happen. I don't think we're going to get it to the point where it's super reliable to be able to, unless uh, unless I very specifically f set this up to answer the strawberry yeah, C2. So I think that this one, we can count it as a bit of a failure, but at the same time, I think it's an interesting concept, right? The ability for us to be able to add these reasoning steps. In fact, you know what? Let's just see what would happen if we switch this to 70B. It's not really the intent of this video, but let's see what we get. I think that model is set up correctly. If I run this with a 70 billion parameter model, does it do better? Let's see. So in the background, it should be doing its reasoning, coming up with a result, and then reviewing it here in just a moment. And we'll see if we get what we're supposed to be getting. Did I set up the, uh, let's see, did I set up this prefix right yet? Okay, review and refine. After carefully reviewing, there are three R's in the word strawberry. Okay, so I think that is so okay i guess apparently that the original answer we didn't see it because it's not being shown to us in the document right now just being passed to that step but what we've got is three r's in the world word strawberry let's let's just be a little bit more thorough and let's run it again but let's change it to raspberry we'll we'll, we'll swap the request back and forth so that the there we've got less caching issues maybe with the um the ai prompting part and so we're not getting back cached results that might be skewing our, our answers here. So it's going through, it's doing all the stuff in the background. Let's see if it can give us the results that we're expecting. I, I think it's just, in this case, it's just purely a matter that the 8 billion parameter model is just too small to really get it. Maybe if I go through and really simplify the, the prompting a little bit more, because it could just be getting confused that you know, there's just too much going on in each step. We might be able to add some additional reasoning steps that are all simpler steps themselves. Instead of trying to pack so much into one, we might get better results. In fact, if that's something that you want to see, um, please, you know, please subscribe to the channel, by the way, but also drop a comment in there if you'd like to see me try to make a, the 8 billion parameter model, maybe have more steps in the reasoning that are all simpler maybe maybe that's causing what the, uh, the the difficulty for it to be able to accomplish this but so far the 70 billion parameter with the same exact prompting is is giving us pretty reliable results so far you know in in well i should say it i don't know if they're reliable yet but we've got the correct answer twice in a row now we can just do this one more time we'll we'll go back to strawberry again and we'll run this and let's see if the 70 billion, because that might just that might be just enough parameters that it better understands all of our prompting and what we're trying to get at, while the 8 billion is just probably my first instinct is that it's, we're kind of overwhelming it in some of these steps, and so even <laughs> even though the question is very simple, right? Like how many R's are in strawberry? It it's not that specifically that's overwhelming the model. I would. 
I would suspect that it's the prompts that they've kind of got a little bit too much instruction in them. Yeah. Yep. And so we're three for three with the 70 billion parameter model, which is not that bad. The 70 billion parameter model is also very, very cheap. It's not as, it's obviously not as cheap as the 8 billion parameter model, but those token costs are extremely low as well. In fact, let's just uh, pop over to open router real quick and let's go browse these models. We'll go into Llama 3.1 and I think we just do an eight. We should be able to find it. Let's see meta eight B instruct. Okay. Right. So it's like, it's like five cents, like, if you round it up, it's six cents for a million tokens for, for 8B. And and for 70, it is, let's see if we can find theirs. Here we go. It's 30 cents for a, a million tokens. So it's a teeny tiny fraction of what it costs for OpenAI 01. And, and that's prime. That's the primary reason for doing an experiment like this. It's not to say that we can do better than those models. I mean, obviously, they're the state of the art. They've been tuned and trained and, and probably have some level of supervision and, and all that kind of stuff to make sure that it's doing the best it possibly can right now. And again, these are preview anyways. The OpenAI 01 models are, are almost definitely going to be better at this. Uh, but you're also paying for it. And and also, many people around the world right now don't have access to it, except through just ChatGPT, the devs around the world uh, who haven't spent enough money to be uh, to have access to it. Um, you know, they, they aren't even able to test it and stuff yet anyways. But I think for purposes like what we do here in Chibi, we're an AI content tool for our users that uh, there's probably some things that we could use OpenAI's O1 models for, in, in particular, things like this, where we want it to be thinking for a little bit. We can have a step that uses the O1 model. And that's kind of one of the cool things about Chibi. You saw me setting this up. You saw me changing the models. All these don't have to be the same model, right? We could have, uh, like, if we had a, just imagine we had a blogging action here that was, you know, you give it a prompt and then it does some thinking, comes up with uh, an outline, passes it to, the, you know, whatever. Maybe you could have O1 thinking about how it how to best answer or, or to craft that um that blog post for your audience based on some other information that you pass it and then it comes up with the plan right and then that that plan is passed on to other models maybe for mini or llama or something whatever you prefer and that's just a really nice way to be able to kind of mix and match models that are that can perform at their strength so that you can get the best result possible so Anyways, I hope you found this experiment pretty interesting. Uh, I realize that it's not one of those positive, we win, woo, yay, we got it to do it. Um, I had, I, I did see some times where the 8 billion was correct, but I, you know, it has more failures in this case. So I think bumping it up to 70 is a, is a pretty big win though, because, you know, we don't necessarily need it. Uh, need 8 billion parameter models to be reasoning anyways. They've got their strengths. We can make them do really interesting things anyways. And um, yeah. So anyways, I hope you found this experiment interesting. If you have any other ideas, you want me to see me experiment with other things, other models, or try different things with the models, different experiments even, drop down in the comments. Let me know. And until next time, take care.